Gentle Vatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video from this coming at you live from the West Coast yet again. Look at this. Mr. Blue Skies is out. Nothing but clear skies over here in the Golden State. Anyways, let's go ahead and just talk about just some of the posts in the Facebook group. What's going on? Some of you guys don't have Facebook. Some of you guys are not in the Facebook group and you guys are probably wondering, hey, I'm looking at treating in my 2020 lowrider wrist for that 117 and honestly man it's not even worth it but hey if you guys want to do it you guys can do it we live in the united states of america if you guys want to pay the uh what the six seven thousand dollars for those extra three c <laughs> cc's hey you can do it but anyways a lot of people have been going into their dealers and inquiring about trading in their they're, they're late models, I guess. They're, they're late 2020, 2021 Lowrider S. And just seeing the post, what people have been offered, people are trying to see if they could trade up to a ST, which are going to be limited. And if you guys saw my other video, there's a huge markup on that. At Depending on the locations, of course. Depending on the location. So, let's just talk about what people are being offered. Uh, if you guys seen some of the posts, if you guys are in the Facebook group, you guys have been seeing that uh, <laughs> people are getting offered about thirteen thousand to about maybe fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars, depending on the model and depending on the years. Uh, some some people have been offered less than that, but uh, yeah, I mean you're looking at thirteen to fifteen thousand bucks if you're lucky. If you're lucky, probably sixteen, seventeen thousand. There's been a few people. In the Facebook group, that uh, that have gotten offered eighteen thousand, and those those few they have under like a thousand or they have under two thousand miles. So, like I said, it just depends on your location and it depends on the dealer, I guess. But the thing is, with trade-ins, the the less they offer you, the more they get in commission. So, I mean, some of you guys don't know how this works, but if if you were to trade in your vehicle to me and I gave you thirteen thousand. And we were to sell that bike for 18, 19,000 at the dealership, then I'm getting a lot of commission. And if I was the same one that sold that vehicle, then I would get additional commission on top of the trade-in. So for you guys that don't know, the sales guy, the less they give you, the more they get in commission. So if they were to give you a little bit closer to, to value or NADA uh, or Kelly Blue Book, whatever we're talking about, I mean, this isn't part of the topic, but yeah i mean it's all about the money it's all about them trying to give you as, as little as possible so they can maximize their profits of course so yeah i mean are the dealers out here playing with us are the dealers out here screwing us over and you know what i mean it's 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 business uh that's the way it's been done here for the last what 100 years since dealerships were introduced if you guys saw another video that i spoke about I mean all the laws and the reasons why uh, manufacturers can't have dealers and you know what I don't think I even uploaded that video and the reason why uh, if you guys see gas stations some gas stations they own uh, the location and then some gas stations they actually give out leases and um, yeah stuff like that and they have control of the overall price they could actually increase the price on their franchise owners and they could actually have a lower price at their own station. Anyways, I mean, these dealers, they have huge overhead, uh, depending on the location. You know, a location in San Francisco's lease and your monthly payment, and, and that location, it's gonna cost you a lot more than a dealer out in uh, Nebraska or Ohio. It's, yeah, I mean, it's just different. Same reason why there's different uh, hourly rates. You have $140 an hour, typically out here in my area, but the same uh, dealerships out in Ohio and those other areas, they typically have, what, a, an hour rate of 100 bucks or so. So it all depends on location. And in California, typically, I mean, we could ride year round. So the uh, these prices that you see on the used bikes, that they're typically higher. I don't know if you guys have been looking at Cycle Cycle Trader. Uh, I was looking at a few baggers because I don't know. I was just seeing them and I'm like, man, maybe I could get a better deal on used bikes. Holy crap! No, 
uh, some road glides used road glides 2020 2019s they're going for 30,000 bucks surprisingly when I was looking at these bikes last year it was a different story they were they were just cheaper in the last two years and we all know why inflation shortages uh, yes I mean there's a lot of different reasons and it all just kind of it all just piles on so it's just a bad time to <laughs> I guess to to be looking for a bike right now and anyways getting back on topic uh, yeah I mean they're offering low I mean they're offering low ball offers of course and they're selling those same bikes for 19 20 thousand bucks and near or even above MSRP if you guys are looking at some of your dealer uh, posts you guys are gonna see that the that 2020 models are about the same price as a 117 and at that point you're just kind of thinking man I'm just better off getting a a uh, lowrider s 117 instead of getting one of these uh other bikes of course i mean why why would you settle on a 114 when you could buy a 117 for the same price and typically what happens <laughs> there's those there's those pesky little fees now these dealers also have these fees on uh on used bikes but uh anyways getting back on the uh lowrider st which is a markup if you guys seen the other video that you know messed up because this GoPro wasn't recording any audio but I mean yeah they're they're doing a markup of 10,000 bucks and man that is just that is just <laughs> that's, that's just robbery but I mean it is what it is uh, if people are out there paying for these bikes then dealers are winning and <laughs> they're putting in all that profit and the the guys, the riders that are buying these bikes for for that amount, thirty four or thirty five thousand, they're losing out on a lot because if you're financing that bike and you're paying ten thousand over, then oh man, you're you're financing those ten thousand dollars on top of your uh, your motorcycle loan. So I mean, you're losing a lot of money, but it is what it is, you know. <laughs> Nobody's putting a nobody's pointing a gun at your head and telling you, hey, you gotta buy this this bike at this at this price. So, I mean, like I said, the only thing for you guys to do is just let the hype die down, or wait maybe two to three years. Uh, you could buy one of these bikes on the used market. By then, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be a lot of them. Uh, most of them, I guarantee, you they're gonna have less than probably two or or four thousand miles by then. And then. Uh, on top of that you're not paying markup you're not paying those dealer fees so and you're pretty much getting the bike for what it's actually worth and that and by and by that time I guess it might be somewhere around you know 15 16 thousand bucks some of you guys in the Facebook group have mentioned picking up some used models for for about that much so it's a good deal I mean just wait a couple years let the hype die down or let the production and let the goods kind of catch up to uh, to the demand so I mean that's the only thing to do pretty much I mean <laughs> there isn't anything else we could do right I'm thinking about a burger right now I'm looking at those burgers and they look pretty good you know what I'm gonna pull on in and have myself a little bit of a lunch um, one more thing to add I already have an appointment to get this flashed and that's going to be on Sunday. So I guess expect a video on, on that. Getting this uh, cruise control flashed and uh, and working. Activated or whatever. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in to yet another video. Just uh, overall in case you were wondering. Um, in case you were wondering. Hey, how much can I get for my 2020 Lowrider S and pick up one of those sweet lowrider sts man you're looking at losing a lot of money ten thousand markup and then you're losing uh i guess three thousand on your trade-in depending on how much you owe on it man i mean we're talking about huge numbers so hey it's up to you guys if you guys think it's worth those three cc's in my honest opinion no it is not it is not worth it you guys could do a lot better uh for three five six thousand dollars you could actually upgrade to a 131 and uh, all that good stuff but hey that's just me you guys go ahead and leave your thoughts down below thank you for tuning in sorry if i'm repeating myself you guys just stay out there stay safe don't believe everything you read life's a risk get out there and ride later and i'm hungry <laughs>